What is the worst member of our body? What is deadly, poisonous and a world of sin in our being? Is it our fist, the mouth, the eye, ear or the nose? Maybe it's our mind. What is it? What is the worst among the members of our body? You are listening to the Christian podcast Manna in Hebrew. What is it? Welcome. Tongue is the worst and a deadly poison among all the members of our body. James 3.8 It is a restless, fidgety, twitching evil. Oh, how dark are the careless words that spring out of it. Many falsely surmise that hard work, determination and good luck determines the course of life. Apostle James have a surprise for them. It is the tongue that determines the direction of life. Like a rudder to a ship, so is the tongue of a man to his life. James 3.4 The tongue decides the course of the future. Yes, surely, there are many things that can and will determine your future. But chiefly the stumbling of your tongue, the error and sins in your speech, bring ruin to your future and sends off course the path of your life. James 3.6 Like a rudder controlled by the inclinations of the captain take the vessel where he desires, so the tongue controlled by the inclinations of the inner man takes our life as the inner man desires. James 3.4 The question is, who controls our tongue? Is it the spiritual man or the old carnal man? If controlled by the spiritual man, our life takes the course of godliness and righteousness. Otherwise, the path of destruction there are two kinds of fires man made fire which is common here on earth and god made fire which burns in hell james tells us that the tongue is a fire not a man made one instead hell fire james 36 in fact hell itself sets the tongue on fire This hellfire then sets the course of our life on fire by our words. Unholy words, rash words, cruel words, judgmental words, imprudent words, cussing words that spring out of our tongue like unclean frogs, dam and ego are hellfires that set on fire the course of our life for the next decade or so or until it is quenched. Like hellfire The fire from our tongues burn us without being consumed. Friends, many sufferings in our lives may not be the cross, but the fire we ourselves started by the leaping words of our tongue. They bring unimaginable suffering to our own lives and in some cases to others also for a season. Some have foolishly claimed that the tongue has creative powers. This is utter rubbish. But certainly you can ruin your future and make it a hell by the stumblings of your tongue. It is restless and an endless buffet table of evil. James 3:8. Do you know that a man can be perfect? Yes, the Bible teaches that a man can be perfect. It says we all stumble in many ways. If anyone does not stumble in what he says, that man is perfect. James 3:2. Therefore any one of us can be perfect. We can be perfect if we do not stumble in our speech. This is why Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12 verse 37 that for by your words you will be justified. How careful we ought to be with our words. In fact, how careless are we in our practical life? Let us in these days be careful with our words and be prepared for the coming of our Lord. that no untoward word no evil word no malicious word no wicked word nor wild words proceed out of our tongue like frogs later to fry us in the course of our lives
You were hearing to the Christian podcast Mana in Hebrew what is it Find more at www.besaved.org be saved.org Till next God bless be prepared for his coming and bye bye